Hey besties, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Welcome to my channel. So today we are doing a story time and y'all, I've been wanting to do this story time for a while. Ever since I did my landlord video, if y'all haven't watched that, go watch it. Basically, me and my husband got kicked out of our place because of garbage cans it was ridiculous but yeah definitely go and watch that but ever since i did that video i've been wanting to tell y'all the story about the roommate situation and y'all this this story is actually this story is wild and i just can't wait to tell y'all all right so basically our roommate we're gonna call him ronnie okay so me and jaren my husband we got a house like when we first got together and the house was really run down so we knew that we wasn't going to be there forever so we ended up getting a apartment with my brother and his girlfriend at the time and we should have made sure that me and him was able to afford the apartment if anybody had moved out but we couldn't so me and my brother and his girlfriend and my husband we all got into it and they ended up leaving the apartment uh, we didn't kick them out they left on their own terms we didn't have a way to pay our rent and we were like okay well we need to find a roommate we were very very desperate at the time y'all okay so we needed to figure something out asap so i posted a uh, post on Facebook basically saying that we needed a roommate as soon as possible so all the people that had commented on my video they seemed very like suspicious like most of them seemed like fake accounts so you know I was very hesitant on a lot of things but we ended up getting a message from Ronnie and he seemed like a nice guy he seemed like he was, you know, he seemed like he was well put together. <sighs> but we were so, so wrong, y'all. He texted us saying that he really needs a place to stay. Um, him and his wife just broke up. Y'all, he didn't even have a wife. <laughs> he turned out not even having a freaking wife. But yeah, he said him and his wife got divorced or whatever. And he needed to get on his feet. So we were like, okay, well, we do want to meet you in person before we make any type of, you know, decisions. So we ended up meeting him. He was probably like 40 and he seemed like a very nice guy. He seemed like he was, anyway, we ended up saying that he could move in with us and we gave him some rules. And the main rule was we don't, we didn't like having a lot of people in our apartment. I have anxiety, so a lot of people being in my apartment, I, I just couldn't do. So that was like the first rule that we put down. And when I tell you, the next freaking day, he moved in. The day that we like first talked to him, he moved in that day. He paid his deposit, like he did everything. So literally, the next day, this was probably like 9 or 10 a.m. My husband was at work. It was just me and Ronnie there was a knock at the door i was expecting a package so i thought it was a package i was like dang my package is here early as hell it wasn't my package it was his package but it wasn't my package so i opened the door and i'm not even joking y'all there was probably about seven or eight men that came through my door they didn't say anything to me they didn't say hey good morning they didn't say nothing to me they seemed very suspicious and they just walked in my door and I'm just sitting there like oh my god like there were so many people y'all and they were all men so yeah obviously I felt so freaking uncomfortable because my husband's at work and this 40 year old man is having his friends over eight of them so yeah I felt freaking weird and uncomfortable they said nothing to me they just came in and went straight back to the room so I was like okay and y'all his room was tiny so explain to me how in the world why in the world would you have seven or eight people in your tiny ass room like i don't understand so that was the first incident that i was like oh god we made a mistake i called my husband that day and i said babe um i would hate to tell you to come home and to call off work and stuff like that but um there is eight 
seven or eight people, men, that just walked in the door. And my husband was furious. He was like, excuse me? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm about to call my mom, tell her to come pick me up because this is just, this is insane. And he was like, well, babe, I can't call off of work. Uh, we're doing tents today. He works in construction, by the way. He was like, we're doing tents today, da, da, da. So I ended, I ended up calling my mom and I was like, hey, uh, do you think that I could come over to your house for a little bit and bring my dogs and stuff like that? And she was like, uh, yeah, I guess. And I don't normally ask to go over to my mom's like randomly, you know? And she's like, is, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, everything's okay. Because I didn't want to tell her what the hell was going on because she didn't even want me to get a roommate. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how else we would have paid our rent if we didn't get a roommate. But yeah, she didn't want us to get a roommate in the first place. And I didn't want to prove her right because she told people, she told me that people are crazy out here and I ignored her advice, which I will never in my life do again. But yeah, I didn't tell her what was going on at the time. But that's the reason I went over to her house. And then I ended up coming home around 4 because Jaren gets, Jaren gets off of work at 4.30. So I ended up going in there. Mind y'all, I had cleaned the house that morning. The living room, the kitchen, everything was like spotless. It was clean. It was beautiful. I came in and that shit was a wreck. He literally had a whole party in my damn house. Like, I thought they were going to stay in their room, but it turns out, nope, they, they came, they came in the living room, came in the kitchen, like, and they ate my food, by the way. They ate all my fucking food, but anyway, so that was the first red flag. So that night I talked to my husband, we had a three bedroom apartment. So that night I talked to my husband about getting another roommate. And this time I want to look for a girl roommate and you know, that way that she would be like there with me while, you know, while Ronnie's there. So, oh, and if y'all want a story time on that roommate, y'all let me know. Like she was my bestie and then she like totally switched up on me, but like, Mm, let me know if y'all want to hear that story because that's a wild one as well. So anyway, this girl, we're going to call her, we're going to call her Becky. So Becky was very like stand up-ish, if that makes sense. Like if anything went wrong, like if Ronnie was like talking bad or like if he was like, if he was doing anything wrong, she'd be like, okay, hey, you need to shut the F up, da 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 da. So she was that type of person. So... I, I literally fell in love with her. Like, I freaking loved her. So, she made me feel a lot more comfortable. So, there was another incident where this guy knocked on my door. He honestly looked like he was... I don't know if I can say this on YouTube, but he looked like he was, like, rough. Like, he was on something. So, he ended up knocking on the door. He had a backpack on, and he was very weird. And that was another guy that didn't say anything to me. I opened the door for him and said hello and he just walked in didn't say nothing to me I'm like what is up with his friends like do they not have manners like yes please come into my house he went straight back to the room and me and Becky we were sitting on the couch and we were watching shameless we heard like a grunt and I'm like what is going on so me and my friend Becky we went outside to take the garbage out and his window was like right like you could see his window from the garbage cans so we ended up looking up there and it was nighttime so like we saw like a shadow or whatever and all we saw was somebody taking their shirt off so i was like oh okay so maybe that's his like maybe that's his like boyfriend or something so after that we went back upstairs and we just started hearing banging just banging on the doors and grunting and i'm like oh my god like this is at least be quiet if you're doing something at least stay quiet please i don't want to hear it you got roommates <laughs> so yeah that was one incident and the guy ended up staying over and i ended up waking up that morning and this guy was literally in his underwear in his underwear just fucking cooking eggs and I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird, but you know, I'm going to get my yogurt, get my husband a yogurt, and I'm going to go back to the room. So it was kind of, it kind of felt like our apartment was like taken over almost. But yeah, I walked, I walked in and there was just like a 40 some year old man in his boxer just cooking eggs on my stove. So yeah, that was weird. So 
this is kind of like when there was a lot of other stuff that happened maybe i should tell y'all because like this is a story time um there was a time where i'm just telling y'all like things that led to us making this decision because we did end up kicking him out so i'm trying to like tell y'all reasons why we kicked him out he did not respect our boundaries that we had set with him and he just like we had rules and he just did not follow them so um, we had a rule where like our food is our food his food is his food like we had our names on it we, he had his he had his name on all of his food and we wouldn't touch it because a food is expensive y'all so yes we had to set some rules so basically he ended up eating all of our food him and his friends because honestly he had friends over every single day there was not a time where he was at that apartment alone like he had somebody over every single day and they were munching on his food and they were munching on our food so we were like food is expensive as hell like you cannot just be eating our food at that point we were like okay well i think that we need to talk to him and tell him that some things need to change because we did give him a warning before we had like told him that he needed to leave so we told him we talked to him we were like okay well you can still have people over but you can't have like a bunch of people over at the same time you can't be having the music up loud at freaking 3 a.m you can't be you can't be doing all that like you have to respect you have to respect our boundaries that we had set with you because we are roommates we have to we have to live together like we have to have respect for one of for one another so after that he started acting really weird and he wasn't even acting weird toward my husband he was acting weird toward me even though my husband was the one that had like talks with him about certain stuff but he wasn't mad at my husband he was mad at me like he started having such strong feelings about me like he was like if you if you like i don't know what his deal was with me but he it, it was almost like he hated me and i had never like done anything bad to him so he had some type of he had some type of issue with me so after my husband and me we had the conversation with him about how things needed to change the next morning he was in the bathroom and i needed to pee y'all know like that first morning pee that you have to do when you wake up like it, oh my gosh it hits and you got to go he was in there and y'all i swear i was like listen i need to pee like i have got to pee can you like you hurry up and he was like yeah and i was just sitting there and like 10 minutes roll by i'm like what the hell is going on i'm like dude are you almost done like i got to pee so bad and he was like yeah come right out he literally comes out i didn't hear the sink i didn't hear a flush i went in there toilet wasn't full. like it was like he was just in the bathroom just to sit in there just to like f with me so i was like what the hell so like he didn't do anything so that was one thing that happened and then another thing was this is crazy y'all i was in the kitchen and i went to my room and i saw him walking out of my room and i was like are you looking for me and he, ronnie was like nope and then he goes back in his room and shuts it so that was very weird i went in there to see if anything had been touched like i y'all i'm telling you this was so weird and i swear like this oh my god so i went in there nothing had been touched like it literally it, he just went in there to go in there so he was just not respecting my space so this this right here was the final straw i ended up going in his room because i had found some stuff on the sink in the bathroom and i hope i don't want to like say this on youtube but i hope y'all know what i'm talking about i found some stuff on the sink in the bathroom so i went in his room he was in there and i was like um so i found this and this on the sink so i would like to come in your room and check i try to respect his space y'all but like when you're doing stuff like that in my house no we're not doing that so yeah i asked him i'm like i need to check your room because if you have more of this stuff then you need to get out like that because i'm i will not tolerate that whatsoever like i went through that as a kid with my family and i will freaking not tolerate 
any of that shit. He stood up, and mind y'all, y'all, like, he's so much bigger than me. I was so scared because my husband wasn't home. It was only me and Stephanie. And anyway, he stood up, and he was like, you ain't checking shit. And I was like, okay, well, I know what I just seen. So if you're not going to let me check your shit, then you need to get out. He was, like, yelling in my face. And at that point I was so fed up and I started I started cussing him out and I'm like I'm not gonna deal with this and da 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 and then he ended up slamming the door on my face and I ended up having like a bruise right here y'all like he slammed the door like on my face y'all I was in such like a state where I was pissed off because he had already done so many things and disrespected us so many times and just to like find what I found like at that point I was like over I was so freaking mad like I'm telling you I wanted to put my hands on him so anyway after that I told my husband when he came home I didn't want to text him because he was working I didn't want to bother him about that because he would have got stressed out and all that stuff so I ended up telling my husband that we have to get him out like ASAP because I cannot deal with that my husband ended up talking to him and he was actually pretty cordial with my husband and he was like, well, give me 30 days. Y'all have to give me 30 days at least. And we were like, okay, we will give you 30 days. And that night, he literally said, like, we heard him on the phone. And he was like, I'm not leaving. They can't kick me out. And we had talked with him. And we were like, so we heard you on the phone. And what, like, what do you mean you're not, like, going anywhere? He was like, I'm not going anywhere. And I'm like... Well, you said 30 days, so we're giving you 30 days. And he's like, nope, I'm not going nowhere. And he just sat back in his chair like this. And I'm like, oh, my God. So now we're going to have to call reinforcements. So I called my mom and my stepdad. I had to tell them what was going on because this shit was just getting out of hand. So he ended up. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. My mom and my stepdad, they ended up coming. And. Uh, they ended up coming in like with a paper stating that he had to leave in 30 days and da da da. This guy stood neck and neck to my stepdad and they were just like talking and or not talking. They were like yelling at each other. Sorry, I forgot like what I was calling him. Ronnie, uh, he was like reading all types of rights, like his rights and stuff. But y'all, the rights that he was saying was not like facts at all. Like he was just saying shit. Like oh my god he, he said y'all are being malicious y'all are being malicious and i'm like malicious you're being malicious what are you talking about and he's like i'm not going nowhere you see this paper and he literally ripped it and he was talking like that y'all like he was talking like he was a gangster or something he was like mm. he was like how about that and i'm like oh no oh no 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 so my mom and my stepdad said okay we don't know how we don't know what to do here so you're gonna have to call the police and i'm like oh my gosh i said i'm not calling the police okay i'm just going to print out another paper and when the day comes i'm just gonna tell like if he doesn't leave in 30 days i'm gonna tell the police that i gave him 30 days i'm gonna show them the paper and the date and all that stuff and they'll make him leave it all agreed that okay we're just gonna give it 30 days and if he doesn't leave we're just gonna call the cops so we were going to wait but then a couple days later he had been gone from the apartment like he would stay out super late and then he would like come home like we didn't even see him for a couple of days but he still slept in his own bed and stuff but like he just left early as hell in the morning and then he came back super super late at night so we were already in, we were already asleep before like he came after those couple of days passed he started like being really weird like he would come in the he would come in the living room with all of us excuse me he would come in the living room with all of us and he would just sit there in silence and just stare at us like i'm not even kidding y'all he didn't watch the tv he wasn't on his phone he literally came in the living room and he would stare at us like this so we felt so freaking weird and we were like okay is there a problem like why why are you just sitting there staring at us and he's like, you know what? Y'all are acting so malicious toward me. And I'm going to show y'all what malicious really is. And me and my roommate, we were looking at him like he was crazy. Because, like, he sounded like he was crazy. And I'm like, 
what do you what do you mean what are you gonna show us he's like just wait later tonight so i was scared as fuck i thought he was gonna come in our room and like you know do some shit like i i literally was scared for my life y'all but because the way he was acting like you could just tell in his eyes that like something was going on like there was something happening within inside him so i was scared as hell and then later that night well when jaron came back home i told him and he's like he's not gonna he's not gonna touch you he's not gonna do nothing i'll, I'll stay up tonight da, 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 da. well <clears throat> that night we didn't have to stay up because the guy ended up leaving he was going around the house and he was like just watch i'm gonna burn all this shit down and he just like started screaming and like he was just wild and y'all like he was like, i'm gonna burn this apartment down i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and i'm like oh god no we're calling the police so we called the police and the police ended up showing up and they literally we went out on the porch and they heard him from inside saying i'm gonna burn all this shit down you want to act malicious to me i'm gonna burn it all down he literally said it like that y'all i was like oh my god so i told the police or we all did we told the police that we were like we were very like feared for our life and da da da, da. and they were like okay yeah uh well we're gonna take him uh downtown they basically took him to the like the loony bin they let him have his phone okay they took him they took him he was in a cop car and they and they were on their way to the loony bin he got on facebook live okay he said my whole full name he was like full on coming at me mind y'all i wasn't even the person like who had multiple conversations with him it was my husband so i felt like if anything he would have an issue with my husband not me but now he was on a facebook live and he said he was saying my full name he was like she's being malicious and i'm gonna show her what malicious is once i get out of this cop car and like his like little friends were commenting and they said they were like yeah well let's go i, I can get my sister to whoop her ass or i can get my little cousin to whoop her ass da -da -da -da. i'm like you threatened to burn down our apartment so what did you want me to do like i i want to sleep tonight so yeah i'm gonna call the cops on you i'm sorry that you threatened to burn down our apartment like what so anyway he was on facebook live saying my whole freaking full name he was telling people where i lived he y'all it was freaking crazy it was crazy so he actually ended up getting out of the loony bin the very next day they didn't even like keep him for that long he literally got out the very next morning i don't know if they thought he was drunk i don't i don't know but he wasn't drunk i know for a fact he wasn't drunk uh he's probably like on something but like he was not drunk i don't know but they should have kept him way longer especially if he's threatening to burn down our apartment like i i just i've never understood that but he got out the next morning luckily everybody was already up and this was a weekend too by the way so <clears throat> jaron was there ronnie came in the door and he's like i'm back motherfuckers and we, we were just like you've got to be freaking joking me i cannot deal with this man for 30 more days or like 20 it was like 20 some more days but we just could not deal with him for 20 something more days like we just couldn't so we had already talked about finding a new apartment and like all that stuff and then ronnie it was probably like this okay this was probably like maybe a day or two after he came home from the loony bin um because he didn't say a word to us he like when he like when he came in he's like i'm back motherfuckers he went to his room and like after that everything was like super chill like it was super calm like everything was fine he came in the living room and he had a bag full of random shit he gave me a bag of clothes okay mind y'all these clothes were like very they were very tiny okay like they were like hoochie mama clothes and i'm like like literally a shirt was a damn string and i'm like what the hell he gave me some like red high heels they were oh my god y'all like it literally looked like he had robbed a freaking hoochie mama like and then he gave my husband three pairs of shoes and he there was actually one pair of shoes that jaron still has to this day because they're actually like really nice but the other two pairs of shoes they were like women's sneakers and they were like size eight so obviously they wasn't gonna fit 
Jaron. And then he gave the roommate, Stephanie, a Christmas card. But yeah, I don't know y'all. Like he literally just gave us like random gifts and he was like, he sat down and he's like, so here's my gift to y'all. I'm going to show y'all that kindness is a thing, even after what y'all did to me. And I'm like, listen, Ronnie, you threatened to burn down our apartment. I was like super calm with him. I was like, listen, Ronnie, you threatened to burn our apartment down. We told you to respect the rules that we had set and you did not respect. Okay. So we, I mean, obviously it wasn't working. And then that's when he started getting riled up again. He was like, you're acting malicious again. I gave you gifts and you're still acting malicious. And I'm like, okay. Like <laughs> at this point I was just like so over it. And my husband, he was sitting there. He was like, Ronnie, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. He was like, your girlfriend is acting malicious. And I'm like, it's like everything I say you think is malicious. Like, what and I'm sitting here getting mad at everybody because like she's sitting over here laughing and my husband's sitting over here just saying calm down calm down I'm like kick his ass out like I was y'all I was getting so upset because he was like full-on coming for me kept calling me malicious kept calling me this kept calling me that he ended up calling me a bitch and then he was like well you know what that's fine I don't want to be around malicious ass people anyway so I'm gonna get my stuff and leave and I'm like great great leave let's go and he's like you bitch and I'm like that's fine you can call me that that's fine I'm just ready for you to get the hell out and he was like malicious 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 like y'all I'm not even exaggerating like he just kept saying the word malicious and he went in there and got his stuff he, he, he already had everything packed like he came out with like bags okay and like, as he was going down the hallway, malicious, holding the bags over his thing. He was like, malicious, 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 malicious. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, God, please get, please get this man out of here. Like, please. So, he ended up leaving. And he got in the car with somebody. And three other guys came back with him to help him, like, get his bed. And, like, get, like, a bunch of bags and stuff. And, y'all. His friends were also like, they, they, they were like, they were kind of like him. But it was like a damn army. They all, once they got their last load out, they were all malicious, 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 malicious. I'm like, oh my God. It's like a damn movie, y'all. Like, literally, all four of these men are saying malicious, malicious, malicious. And then they just leave. And then I never seen or talked to the man ever again. Y'all, y'all tell me that that's not a crazy ass story. Like, y'all, he, he was on something, y'all. Like, him and his friends, they were on something. And they were childish as hell. So, that was a very, a very weird situation that I never want to have to deal with ever again in my whole entire life. So, <sighs> I hope y'all enjoyed that story time. Oh my god, I didn't even finish my makeup, y'all. This was supposed to be me learning how to multitask. And my camera's about to die. That's great. So yeah, we're gonna do my makeup real quick because I literally just talked the whole entire time. But yeah, y'all. Y'all cannot tell me that that wasn't a crazy ass story because like, what? How, like, why are people like that? I'm malicious, y'all. And to this day, y'all, I hate the word malicious. Like, I freaking hate the word. Like, when I hear anybody say it, I'm just like, because it's so freaking annoying to me. I heard it so freaking much. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that because, and I have a lot more crazy story times, y'all. Like, y'all do not understand. I really want to tell y'all the one um, when it comes to the Stephanie girl because y'all that one's actually I wouldn't say that that one's crazy but it's like messed up like it's really it's really effed up to be honest like she befriended me and then did some really like snake 
All right, y'all. So this is how my makeup ended up. My camera ended up dying because I recorded it for so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all want more story time videos, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.